Hello, my friends. It is Thursday afternoon. It is drunk pokeroo time. It is beer time. It is also International Stout Day or National Stout Day or whatever you want to call it. It's a good day to drink stouts. Um, we've talked about seasonal beers before. You don't have to drink stouts in the winter or porters in the winter and, you know, pilsners and lagers and sours in the summer. But there's just something about a stout that lends itself to the colder weather and, the you know, the, the early sunsets and that, you know, you just want to hunker down inside and uh, hang out and, and not do much, just kind of hibernate a bit. So um, today we're going to do have a Great Lakes Brewing from Etobicoke. They're solstice stout. It's brewed on the vernal equinox, uh, put in bourbon barrels on the summer solstice, and then for the autumnal equinox, it's put in bottles, and then it comes out in the spring. So this is last year's. Uh, it's been sitting down in the cellar aging. <sighs> I'm not really great at aging beers yet because I have a hard time waiting to try them. So this has been sitting down there for about six months or so. So we'll give it a try and see. Mm. Smell that uh, oaky bourbon right off the top. Now, I don't have a Great Lakes uh, tulip glass. I will have to correct that next time I go visit. I only have a pint glass. Not that there's anything wrong with it in a pint glass. However, I do like to hold my stouts, uh, feel them warm up, because as they warm up, they get a little smoother. That is very thick, poured like motor oil, thick, tan head. Tons of boozy bourbon off the top, so that's a nice oaky bourbon smell. Oh, that's good. Oh, you know what? Cheers to the winter. Why not? Being Canadian means we get to experience all these amazing colors of the fall, then you get your winter activities, your skiing, your snowmobiling, your ice fishing, and then spring's here, and before you know it, we're back in the summer. Grab yourself a stout. Cheers to International Stout Day. Oh man, that's smooth. Okay, so like off the sip, there's that oaky bourbon, kind of a dark chocolate. And then when you take a drink, it is it's boozy, but not in a bad way. Like it's a warming booze. Like you know when you do like a shot of a really good whiskey or your sip of really good scotch or bourbon, it's warming and smooth. A lot of oaky, earthy notes. Um, dark chocolate, bitter coffee. Wow, that's really good. I should have grabbed a couple of these. Again, still learning. Um, long way to go. A lot of stuff to learn about you know, aging beers and letting them sit for a couple of years and having something to compare them to. So, you know, if you got two of these, have one now. Try one next year. Uh, if not, be like me. Break it open today. Let's celebrate the roasty, big, bold. I mean, this is, what, 11%, 11 percent, 11.9 percent alcohol. So this is a big, boozy bastard, but it's brilliantly brewed, smooth warming oh that's good i'm gonna go enjoy the rest of my day it's still pretty nice out uh the cold weather's coming be prepared but uh enjoy your weekends i will see you next week until then my friends stay toasty stay roasty happy international stout day oh, that is ridiculously good